Hello everyone, this is Jack and welcome back to another Minecraft video and today in this one we're going to be taking a look at a floor block swapper. So we're gonna go over here and we can see there is an empty room so it's getting pretty dark over here so what I'm gonna do is press this button as, and as you can see that the glowstone pops out of the ground and as you can see it's all bright now what I'm gonna do is craft a little bit so I'm gonna press the button again and we can see we have a crafting table so we can do whatever we want over here and when we're done with that we can press this button and we can see that we have an amazing diamond block I can look at it all day when I'm done looking at this we can press this button again and we have some more light but when we are done with all of this we can just press this button and we can see that the floor is flushed and no one will ever know what happened here so here's the restaurant behind this thing and as you can see that it is extremely small so here we have just a piston feed tape and a piston over here which will push the block upwards and uh, as you can see the wiring is very simple and everything is very simple and you can see this in action when you press this button as you can see the blocks cycle around and the block is pushed over here so we're gonna start off with the 3x6 area and this is going to be your ground level so the first thing that you want to do is place a redstone dust over there and a repeater set to 3 takes and a block over here with a piston right over there and then what you want to do is place a redstone repeater set to 4 ticks and place a block over there with a piston right over there facing this way and then place a observer facing upwards with a block right over there and then place a piston on the top of the observer so now what you want to do is break this block and place a redstone torch over there and then a sticky piston on top just like that place some redstone dust like this and a repeater with a block over here just like this and then a redstone torch over there and then place an observer facing this way with a block over there and then a redstone dust over there and then place a normal piston over here and a sticky piston right over there and there it is the whole thing is done now you can give it a test go as you can see all the pistons are extending now you can place whatever blocks you want to over here in this whole thing and I'm just gonna be demonstrating with some color rule so what you wanna do is place one over here one over here and one on the top over there and then go around and place one here and one here so it's going to be cycling five blocks so now what we're gonna do is press this button and as you can see the whole cycle will happen so now what you can do is go and add all of the floor blocks and as you can see it's going to be completely flushed no one will ever know that there is something down over here and uh, of course keep in mind that you can run the input from uh, this block or going into this block so all of these will work so that is also a thing that you should know you can had, uh, add a hidden input so you can hide it from people but uh, yeah that was the end of this video i hope you enjoyed this video and if you did then be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos i will see you in the next one thanks for watching and goodbye